You good, man? Drama brimming throughout the piece, the intensity of the music score, the very heightened stakes that built quickly. And I think uh, the storytelling aspects of the exposition being told to a friend where he can be fully open and then go through and have us go through the finding out of the cheating with him was a great way to integrate the audience and have us align with him or maybe not. Um, I, I think they, they handled the conflict the actors' performances really handled the conflict with gravity and emotional depth to make it matter and to make us care and to make those stakes and the danger feel real. And they kept me in this the entire time. I, I didn't quite know what was going to happen next, where they're going to go. I, I was always kind of from my head screaming, just just go with peace. Just let her be. Um but uh, I thought this was really well crafted, very clear attention to story. And I think that we got a full arc in this and a very satisfying ending. That one was good. That one I really, really liked. The whole mafia, the whole gangster, good fellas, but they're Hispanic instead of Italian type vibe. Yeah, with the whole chicken, with the meat, with the whole, because the whole time I was like, he's not really going to chop bro up because it kept getting like, building that tension, delay, 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 building that tension for the audience, whatever. And I was like, he's not going to, it's going to be a ex machina, a Dave's ex machina or whatever. And he really did it. And I was like, well, and then the whole reveal at the end, the twist with the whole, with the spider, the way, the, my thing is it's good writing slash directing to reveal it, to reveal the ending the way y'all did with the, like not letting necessarily letting us see the whole thing, but letting us piece it together with just a look from bro and then cut to the spider. That that's great storytelling. That one, that one, probably one of my favorites I've seen since I've been doing this. The bloody bucket image is a statement to open this film. It immediately had me paying closer attention. The dynamics between these two friends, one prone to violence, the other needing to pray about it first, but both coming to the same conclusion. Um, they become a team that intimidates this man who they believe is sneaking around with Lisa, which is Boyle's girlfriend. You see in this intimidation scene, the trope of the good cop, bad cop, but quickly come to the conclusion that Spider is wrong. Um, and Victor once again gets to play the pit bull. He gets to, 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 to be the violent one. Um, as it seems like he enjoys doing. It's very reminiscent of those mafia moments where they interrogate violently for information. The Carapolo, it surprises me because he doesn't seem like he's capable of what we see him do in this because he presents a tenderness. Um, and I guess it's 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 a way for us to see the soft spot that he has for Lisa. Um, and he uses prayer in a very perverted way, often finding a reason to resort to violence after prayer. So it was it was in a way we think we're getting one thing out of the characters, then we're revealing another side of them, but then we're revealing yet again another layer where Victor is not just this violent, happy guy. He actually has a soft spot as well and a protectiveness over Lisa from Poyo. And we also see that Poyo is way more calculated than he's, than he's appearing to be. So in the beginning, we're thinking that Poyo is this tender guy that's being cheated on. He's being misused. And then we really see that, oh no, there is so much more to him Right. And that he's the one we should be concerned about. He's the one we should all be looking out for. Um, very chilling in, very chilling in. And the spider tattoo piece of skin. Disgusting touch, but great touch. I think that the filmmakers were creative with their camera angles. They told a very linear story on this. And although I liked their creativity, kind of begged the question on why didn't he just break up with her and like kick her to the curb and let karma do its job, you know? Um, but I think I've got to give him props for creativity on this one. What set it apart for me was the intensity of the acting. The performers were 100% committed to their roles. The writing was also great. I was on the edge of my seat and the gory prosthetics and makeup were really well done. 
I thought the suspenseful soundtrack really added to the action and the gloomy lighting also really set the tone of the piece. I would love to see this extended into a feature.